Today we're gonna to talk about a little bit um, with oral medications. So we're gonna talk about liquid medications and different types of tablets. When you are given an order from a physician and they want you to give a tablet, you may have a multi-dose vial or you may have a single um, where you'll actually be popping the pills out of these tin foil little containers. So we're gonna show you how to do both of those. The first thing is when you have a bottle that has multiple pills, like such as ibuprofen, Tylenol, medications that you guys have gotten at the grocery store before, you open it and at home, you just dump it out in your hand, you take how many you need, put them back in. But when you're giving it to patients, we don't want you to be putting them in your hand. So in order to do it, like if you just need one tablet, you're just gonna take and put the one tablet into the lid and then you can put it into your med cup and take it into the room. So if that's what's prescribed, then you can do that. You also need to make sure that your patient can swallow a pill. So we're gonna talk about different ways as if your patient can't swallow um, a medication. So if your patient can't swallow a pill, we're going to need to crush it. Um, before we crush it, I'm gonna show you guys how to cut it in half and then we'll, um, we'll crush it. So let's say this bottle of medication is ibuprofen 650 milligrams and we'll say that your doctor has ordered for the Tylenol to be 325 milligrams. So we need to give half. Some of these tablets are scored and you're able to just break them in half, but rather than doing that, we like to use a pill cutter. So there's a little blade right here. Don't run your finger on it because it's really sharp. So you'll dump your one tablet out you will put it on your pill cutter. If it, and it, this is why I'm wearing gloves, is you can flip it over. You're gonna line up that scored line right there on there, and then you'll just push your blade down and it will put it right in half. Now, if you look at this one, part of it broke, so we're gonna take the full half of the other side, and then we could take this in and give our 325 milligrams of Tylenol to our patient. So that's one way is if you have to do a half a dose for a tablet. So let's talk about if our patient can't even swallow a half a tablet. We're gonna need to crush it. You may have to dissolve it in water and put it in an NG tube. You may have to mix it in applesauce, but there's many different ways to crush your meds. So whatever facility you work in, we have three different crushers so you guys can see what they look like. This one in particular, you would take and you put the pill in and then you just turn this and it will crush the med and then you can pour it out. The thing with this one, and you can see, there's a lot of powder that gets left in. This is from previous meds. So sometimes you'll have to put a little bit of water in there and mix it around to be able to get all that powder out. So these aren't the most accurate ones, but some facilities only have these. So you may or may not be using these. Another one that you can use is something like this. So they come with bags at the end of it and you just take your pill and you put it in here. And then you would put it like here and then you use this and you smash it until it smashes in that bag. You'd pour it in your cup and then you'd either mix your applesauce, your yogurt or water, whatever you're going to do with that. So that's one way of doing it. And then the other way is you would need a little paper cup and we're gonna use the other half of our pill here. You put it right here and you'll put it in this metal piece. And then you're gonna put another cup on top. That just saves the powder from getting all over your pill crusher. And then you use this and just like the other one, and then you've got your powdered med, you put it in your cup, and then again, you can dissolve it. Let's say your patient um, needs to be on an extended release medication. Um, you'll learn more about this in pharmacology, but extended release or enteric coated medications can't be crushed. So if you see on the medication, it says do not crush, that means don't crush it, okay? Especially like a blood pressure medication or something like that. There's many medication errors that have happened where people have crushed a blood pre pressure medication, given it to the patient, and then they bottom out their blood pressure, the patient passes out and they have some major problems. So big thing when you're doing this, you need to make sure that you've got the right medication and that it is able to be crushed. Um, sometimes if you can't crush the medication, you can call the physician and ask them to order a liquid medication. You may have to give it more frequently because it's it's not an extended release, but if it comes in a liquid, it's always nice to um, be able to do this rather than crush and dissolve and everything like that. So we're gonna say that um, our physician has ordered, we're just gonna say this is again Tylenol, and we'll say it's um, 325 milligrams in five mLs. So you can take a med cup and your med cup will have um, your different markings on there. So you can see that we have uh, milliliters, we've got two and a half, five, seven and a half. So you wanna put it on a flat surface 
get down nice and um, even with it. And then you're gonna pour your medication to your five mLs and then you've got your, your medication. Now in infants or children, pediatrics, they tend to do a lot smaller dosing. So you might be doing 0.4 mLs or 0.6 mLs or 1.2 mL. And 1.2 mL to 1.5 mL is a huge dose for a baby. So rather than you can't measure at 1.2 in this, you would definitely wanna get a syringe and draw up the liquid medication for that. So that's how you do liquids. That's how you cut your pills, crush your pills. Um, once we put the pill in here, there's not a specific amount of liquid. You just wanna make sure that you get enough water. So we're gonna pour our pill into here. We're gonna add a little bit and I've even got some water right here. You can just use regular tap water. This is just going into the stomach. So you wanna do about lukewarm. You don't want it to be icy cold or super hot. Um, and you're just gonna add, I usually add about 10 to 15 mils. And then you can use, a tongue depressor and you kind of stir it up and you just kind of sometimes they take a little while to dissolve but you want to get as much as you can dissolved in there so while that's dissolving we'll leave that right here i'm going to show you how to use a capsule so some of your medications will come pre-packaged in these little tin foil packets Sometimes they'll be in a big sheet full of tin foil, so you're just popping them out day by day. Um, but you're not gonna sit and use your fingernail and like poke a hole in it. You just take the pill and you pop it and you kind of just push it down into your cup and then it just opens that, that tin foil piece. Don't try and like poke your finger and pull the back off of it. It's just not effective that way. So like I said, this particular one is a capsule. So it's a piece of plastic with the medication inside. You can see the little piece of plastic. This is not gonna be crushable. This plastic is not meant to be crushed. So if this needed to be dissolved in water, we'll take, and we're just gonna put these in here. We would take our capsule and you're just gonna pull that little piece of plastic off of there and dump it into here. And I spilled a little bit on the table. If, the, if it's a lot on the table, you're gonna have to get a new capsule and redo it. If it's just a tiny bit, you're okay. This can just go in the garbage. And then again, we would just want to stir this up and then let it dissolve. And that's how you're gonna do your medications.